Hey, this is Robert over at Capital Retail Group. Today we, we want to talk about the timing of tenant improvement allowance and when a retailer would get that tenant improvement allowance uh, by a landlord. Uh, oftentimes when, we're, when we are representing a retailer, we want to ensure that that uh, money that the landlord is giving to the retailer is done and is released as quickly as possible. So as a landlord, uh, certainly landlords don't want to give the tenant improvement allowance until the work has been shown that it's been completed, including lien waivers. So uh, for smaller retailers, that often means that you have to uh, go to a banker, uh, get that get it uh, that tenant improvement allowance as a loan uh, from a bank, do the work and pay the uh, the the contractor uh, for the work that's being done, and then get reimbursed essentially from the landlord uh, once all the work is complete. It's not an ideal situation, uh, but it is something that happens more and more with small retailers that can't. Uh, or don't have the funds in their own bank account. So as a larger retailer, uh, they will simply uh, fund it themselves out of uh, operating cash and uh, get reimbursed from the landlord uh, at a later date. Again, when all the lien waivers are submitted to them and the work is complete. If you have any questions on this process and how to negotiate tenant improvement allowance with a landlord, give us a call, 202-319-2884, or check us out on the web, capitalretail.com. Thanks.